Okay, this is a fairly easy process. Um, what you want to do is take one of your older brush categories and you want to make sure that um, you go ahead and create a zip archive of that brush category. So you would right click uh, if you're on a PC and zip that up. So it's going to look something like this um, and I'm working on my desktop here. When I open that I'm going to have the brush category which includes all the uh, XMLs, uh, the individual JPEGs, um, and so on. And then I'm going to have the individual JPEG icon for that particular uh, brush category. So you want to make sure you have the folder and the individual J, uh, JPEG and they're together. Okay, so that's important. Then I'm going to right click on the name of this uh, brush category and I'm going to rename it and then we're going to take out the zip option here and put brush category and hit enter you're going to receive this rename option are you sure you want to change it and we're going to select yes and when I do that you can see now that we've created a painter uh, brush category and now we need to load it into Painter so I'm going to open up Painter and uh, let's see if I can make my screen a little bit smaller here so I can get this in here there we go and I'm going to go into my brush category here and to the options flyout and choose import brush category and to my desktop where I created this and here you can see that particular brush that we just created, the um, Real KB watercolor. And we'll select Open. And you can see that that was the wrong brush category. Hold on. <laughs> Import brush category. And I think it was, what did we do? We did the Zen watercolor brush category here. And there we have it and if I open it up there's all our great brushes in there. So this is a really um, you know a fairly easy way to get um, to get those brushes in. You just want to remember that you need to create that art that zip archive. Uh, just open it up and make sure that you don't have another zip in there somewhere. If you do when you go into um, into your folder library and to check that make sure that there's not another zip in there because sometimes that can be problematic so you'll just want to have your brush categories and your uh, individual uh, JPEG and then uh, create a zip archive of that and compress it and uh, create a zip and then follow the steps that I uh, mentioned and that should get you there it should uh, work fine um, I also may mention that um, even when you're uh, in this state where the brush is, um, uh, you know, in its zip format, you can also, uh, instead of making that a brush category and you want to actually start a new brush library, you can change the extension from uh, zip to brush library and you will get the same um, uh, same thing. So for example I'll just bring a brush in here uh, category let's open it up and this one is not going to be a good one that is uh, let's do Skip's watercolors here and again we'll rename it and we'll change that zip option to brush library and yes and you can see now that we have a brush library of Skip's watercolor, so we can bring that in as a library. So the two differences here, brush category and brush library. Okay, hopefully that helps.